So I just took screenshots of these, and I, I hadn't read it yet. I'm going to read it with you guys. I just I read one that she just put out, and, and it, was a, it was a good story. Well, not a good story, but it was a story about her helping somebody that needed her help. And and then at the begin at the end of it, after telling this story that where she helped this girl escape some bad things that happened to her, at the end of this story, she puts a joke there, and it, it just it that I don't know, it just bothered me. So hopefully she doesn't do something like that with this one. Like I get it that Jarrett, her brother, did something to her cousin. Because Jared admitted to it. I don't care what anybody says. That's what Jared admitted to. I get it that maybe Jared did something to this to his sister too. There's no proof of that, so we can't go with a yes or no there. But it's a possibility. I get that. But don't tell a story about defending somebody. And then for some reason at the end of the story, put a joke. That it, it just, I don't know, it, it bothered me. But anyways, let's read what she says here, because like I said, I haven't read it. I just took screenshots and went on to other stuff. It says, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, echoed through the hills as I ran by him on the, on the graveled road towards the bus stop. My heart was set on winning spring week, and nothing was stopping me. Sorry, brother. I, I tricked... The trick to getting to school safe was to plan ahead. First, make sure you have everything you need because once you leave, there is no turning back. Second, be alert. The the P knows you're about to leave and will pounce due to its animal instincts. Lastly, run. The P cannot get you if it cannot catch you. That was the only day I don't I didn't protect you. That was the only day I didn't protect you. I'm sorry. That was selfish of me. You were my first baby ever. You were my first baby, even though you weren't mine. You were my responsibility. I can't imagine how you felt that day as I selfishly ran by you. I let the beast get you. Now you're standing next to him, wanting to be like him. It breaks my heart. Please take my advice at this time. Walk away before you before you world comes crashing down due to the action of others. Don't be his fall guy again. Growing up, we were told that we are uh Luxy, like like whatever the hell his name is, I I don't freaking know. And we're better than everybody else. I hope one of these days that you realize that we're human and we're the same as everyone else. Love you so much. I'm, I'm assuming, and, and this is just me, I don't know where she's going with this, but I'm assuming that she ran to the bus that morning to get away from her brother. And in the process of getting away from her brother, she's saying that her brother did something to her younger sister. I, I, I could be totally way off on that. That's just the way I took what she said here, which is not a fact. It's not an opinion. It's what she said. I, there's no proof of any of this. There's proof of him doing something to the cousin because he said he did it. But there's no proof of this. And do I believe he did something to his sister? Hell yeah, I do. I do. 1,000% I do. But there's no proof to prove it. But apparently she's saying her sister is too scared to say something about him. 